Welcome. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to simplify this uh, using our trigonometric identities. So there's going to be two identities that I'm going to work with. I, right now, I don't see anything initially that I can do to simplify this problem. However, I can use the quotient and the reciprocal identities to rewrite the cotangent of x and the secant of x. And then what we'll do is we'll see if we can simplify it further from there. So by using the quotient identity, I know that the cotangent of x is equal to the cosine of x divided by the sine of x. Then I'm going to multiply by the secant of x, which I'll rewrite as the reciprocal property, which is going to be 1 over the cosine of x. Now, the reason why it's so important to rewrite them, because when I look at this problem, I notice that if I was going to multiply this over, which I guess I'll just show it in that format so you guys can see, cosine of x times 1 is just cosine of x. Then I'll have sine of x times cosine of x as my denominator. And what you notice is now, since I have a cosine of x in the numerator and the denominator, these are now going to divide out into 1. Multiplying 1 times, now my sine of x is still going to be in the denominator, of 1 over sine of x, which we now know by using, again, going back to using our reciprocal identities, we know that is going to be the cosecant of x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you simplify your trigonometric identities. Thanks.